Okay, so it's what you want to do is you want to put, the, put your container in, then bring it against the plexiglass till it stops. Now you're ready to apply the label. Just press the foot switch. And you can see we got a perfect cover up of the label right in the middle. <coughs> now I'm going to put another one right on top of that. Again, put it in. Go against, rotate it back against the plexiglass and apply. Now we have two labels exactly on top of each other, as you can see there. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the small container. So to switch over, as you can see, we've marked this short and long, and that's for the short filter and the long filter. So when you want to do the short filter, you have to put the short side against the filter. So I'm going to drop that back in place. Now it's facing the short side. And uh, since the short filter is going to be in a different location, we're also going to have to change the, the bottle guide down here at the bottom so that it kind of lines up your label back up and down on the, on the filter. And then we're also going to have to move this to the side as well. So we want to line this up with your stops that are on your filter here, which would be right about there. Okay, and you don't want to, uh, you just want to snug it up and you want to bring the guides forward enough so that the, that your O-ring is holding the guide just against the filter. And you still want to, you want to make sure that it's free enough to move back and forth. Okay, so now we're going to try to cover up this label. So we'll put it in. We are against this guide on the right, bring it back against the guide here, just so it touches. As you can see, perfect cover-up the first time. So you should be able to label all of your filters very efficiently and put them on very accurately.